Welcome back to Black Cat Crypto Club. A few weeks ago, probably six weeks or so ago, I did a video on how you could collateralize your Bitcoin or your uh, cryptocurrencies and actually live off your cryptocurrencies without ever having to sell them. However, in that video, I did really try to drive the fact home that if you don't know, if you don't have your, your finger on the pulse of crypto all the time or have somebody that does and can advise you on that, then it's probably a pretty risky avenue to take. Now, there is another way that is often commonly uh, kind of taught uh, with investment advisors on retirement. So I am going to get into that strategy for you guys and kind of show you guys what, um, how much Bitcoin you might need to retire. So we're going to get into all of that. However, as always, guys, if you have not already, please go over to Olive Branch Animal Sanctuary right here, guys. Uh, all of their information is in the description of my videos, so you can go, you guys can go over there, like their pages, and head over to their link tree where you can find all kinds of different ways to donate. Guys, they've got black cats, so go over and help the black cats. That's what this channel is all about. Hey, so go over and help them out. These guys are very small. Every dollar really matters to them. So go over, throw them a few bucks if you can. Um, now, in the description, I have this link to this page. This is their link tree, and this will allow you to do all any kind of uh, donation that you want. So you can donate to their medical debt fundraiser. You can go over and check them out on Instagram and Facebook. You can send them something that they have on their wish list from Amazon or Chewy. And you can also hit their PayPal or their Venmo here. So go over, check them out, show them some love, guys. This will buy you some good karma, which we always need in crypto. And it's a it's a tax write-off, guys. These guys are a 501c, so there is really no downside. I don't know what you're waiting for. Go over and help the animals out over there, guys. All right, so let's get into this retirement business. So what this strategy entails, well, first of all, any retirement strategy involves speculation because nobody has a crystal ball on what the future is going to, going to hold. So I just want to be upfront that this does require some spec speculation. However, every, 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 every plan like this, it doesn't matter whether it's in traditional finance or something like crypto, every plan kind of uses some kind of speculation. So we're going to get into this. The whole idea of this strategy, and it's co commonly kind of referred, referred to as the 4% withdrawal rate uh, strategy, retirement strategy. And what this is, is in traditional finance, it's commonly looked at that you could take 4% out of your investments and you could have that 4% to live off every year. Now, where this makes sense is right here, if we take the 2% inflation goal, now this alone requires some speculation because whether or not the Fed can keep inflation at this 2% is speculative. And they definitely haven't done it in the most recent years. So that in and of itself is, is speculation. But if you take that 2% and then you take the typical 60-40 bond stock split, which averages a about a 6 to 8% 
increase every year, then you can take 4% out. You can have that 2% on top of it. So your, your portfolio needs to increase at least 6% for you to take out a 4% every year and still maintain that investment at that level, right? So, uh, so this is where we're going to kind of look at the traditional finance way and what, what it would take in this traditional finance system to retire. So along here at the, this top line, these are the three different categories that I'm going to kind of show you guys today. So the first one is $80,000. This is assuming that you can live off of $80,000 per year. Now this will all increase with inflation because we are factoring that into these numbers, guys. So if you could live off of $80,000 today, how much would you need to retire and live off your investments pretty much indefinitely? Okay, so the for this first 80,000 uh, group of people that could live off of $80,000 per year, you would need, let's see, $4 million dollars to retire and live on $80,000 a year. <laughs> I don't know if that's just me, but that seems a bit ridiculous. Uh, it seems, seems a bit unattainable for most people. Most people I know, most working class people are never going to be able to get to this 4%, I don't think. Now, I could be wrong. Uh, you know, obviously, there are some people that will definitely hit this. But guys, this is the lowest category I put up here because I think living on $80,000 is living pretty modestly. I mean, it's not completely poverty line, but I think it's it's a fair retirement. Um. And I just don't think a lot of people can hit that $4 million. I, I mean, I know I wouldn't have. So that's, that's all I, I can say. And I have a college degree, guys. And, you know, I would have never hit $4 million by retirement time. Uh, but let's jump over to see how much you would need in this 60-40 stock bond investment to live, live off of $100,000 per year. You'd need another million dollars tacked on, so you'd need $5 million to live off of $100,000 per year retirement. Okay, well, how about... Uh, sorry, let me move this back down again. How about that $250,000 Per year, this is for people who want to be out yachting and <laughs> hitting the golf courses with their cronies all retirement day long. Um, so, how much is that going to cost? You're going to need twelve point five million dollars to retire in that class. Okay, so this might already seem very overwhelming. Um, I know if I was seeing these numbers and thinking about retirement, I would probably have already shut off this channel. <laughs> so if you've made it this far, stick with me, guys, because there's, there's some hope at the end of the tunnel, guys. I always say that Bitcoin is hope for the future, and this is going to show you exactly what I mean. Now, this second line down, I have a 10%, right? Now, this is based off of a recent podcast that I listened to with Dave Ramsey. Now, I'm not a terribly big Dave Ramsey fan. Um, he's personally, he's kind of a very Horatio Alger, pull yourself up by the bootstraps. It's only up to you, you know, kind of person. And I think life is a little more complicated than he 
pretends to see it from his privileged throne. But anyways, guys, the the podcast that I was listening to with Dave Ramsey, he was going on and on about how his portfolio, his investment portfolio sees about 12% returns every year on average. And he was saying that he's no investment genius. You know, it's not like he he researches all day long about his stocks. He just kind of has a general diversification of stocks and his portfolio gets about a 12% return. So we're going to subtract the two off of that 12% for inflation and we're going to get this 10% withdrawal rate. So how much would it take to retire on Dave Ramsey's uh, portfolio to live on eighty thousand dollars a year, you'd have to have one million dollars invested initially. It's better, it's better. Uh, I still am not totally sure it's really attainable for the masses, uh, that are going to need retirement, guys. Now, here's why this is so important is because after this boomer generation, there really isn't going to be social security. Social security is, in my opinion, social security is the biggest Ponzi scheme that was ever devised. And now that the boomers, the biggest generation we've ever had is getting to retirement age and they're living off of social security, it's just going to be non-existent by the time my generation or millennials or Gen A, Gen Z, anybody past now isn't really going to have much social security to live off. So we are all going to be needing to, <laughs> unfortunately, like there won't be that for us. So we are going to need to do this, but I still don't think with this 12% investment in uh, portfolio, the masses, most of the people are not going to be able to, to afford this. All right, so 10% withdrawal rate, how much would it take to live the $100,000 per year life? You'd need 1.25 million. And then the 250,000 fat cat life, you would need 3.125 million. So all of that is a lot better than the 60-40 uh, stock bond portfolio, for sure. But still not very attainable, in my opinion. Now, guys, don't shut me off just yet. I know if I was watching retirement uh, planning this depressing, I might have just shut it off already. So if you've made it up this far, guys, stick with me. There is some light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, but <laughs> it it isn't going to be in this traditional finance, and that is apparent. So... Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to come down here to the last four years of what Bitcoin has done. Now, Bitcoin over the last four years has increased in value on average 170% per year. Now, you can already see where this is getting a lot better, but can we count on 170% gains in Bitcoin forever? Probably not. But let's just look at the numbers as is right now what Bitcoin's doing at this moment and see how much more attainable retirement is. So to live this $80,000 retirement life on these kind of gains, what your initial investment is going to need to be is $117,000 thousand six hundred and forty seven already <laughs> like 10 times better than the best case up here right so definitely better um it's still a lot of work 
honestly, that's that's a, a bit of work to to do. But this is kind of in this scenario, we're looking at this is what you would have to invest today. In one year, you could retire. Now, I'm going to get into some other situations that I think are even more conservative, but will take a little bit longer. But let's just keep going to live in one year to retire and live this $100,000 lifestyle, what you're going to have to have today invested is $147,059. And then to be in the Fat Cat Club, you are looking at $367,647 invested today at Bitcoin levels now. Okay, so that's all a lot better, about 10 times better than Dave Ramsey's uh, situation. Um, but let's, let's think about that, guys. Like I said, we've been doing 170% per year uh, on average for the last four years, but is that sustainable? Can that go on forever? And the answer is no. It probably, I mean, it can't, right? Like, it'd be nice if it, sh if it could, but I don't think it's likely that Bitcoin will continue to make these kind of gains indefinitely. So let's think about this a little bit different, okay? We're going to use a uh, prediction from ARK Invest. Now, ARK Invest is Kathy Wood's company. Um, and she does run one of the Bitcoin ETFs and they have had a few predictions for what they think Bitcoin is going to hit in the next uh, six years in, in, in 2030. So in 2030, they just actually came out with this prediction uh, about a week or so ago, I believe. Uh, and they revised this based on the volume that they had seen in their ETF. So this is this is an educated guess. I mean, from an insider in the industry of those ETFs. So it may be a bit bullish. I don't know. Um, but these guys do have some good information, so I wouldn't completely discount it. But let's just Let's just go off this for a minute. And their prediction is that by 2020 or 2030, excuse me, Bitcoin will be $3.8 million per Bitcoin. Sounds too good to be true. Uh, and maybe it is, but I'm going to run down several different predictions. So let's just say you want to retire. In six years, at 2030, the, the year 2030, you want to retire. Uh, what is it going to take at these different prices? How much Bitcoin do you have to have today at $70,000? Okay, so if Bitcoin hits 3.8 million by 2030, what you will have to have today to, to be able to retire and live the $80,000 lifestyle, you are going to need 0 0.085 Bitcoin is all. Okay, this is the most hopeful situation we've seen so far. I mean, all you have to do is have $5,950 in Bitcoin right now, today, to be able to retire in 2030 off of this prediction from ARK Invest. <laughs> now, that sounds too good to be true. So let's just go down, let's drop this prediction down to 2 million, almost in half, just down to 2 million by 2030. What's it going to take if it only goes to uh, 2 million. In that case, you'll need 0.16 Bitcoin. So you'll need about $11,200 invested in Bitcoin today 
to retire at 2023 or 2030 at a $2 million Bitcoin. Now you could also look at this as if I had uh, $11,200 in, I could retire whenever Bitcoin hits 2 million. Now, maybe that, that takes a little bit longer. Maybe it takes till 2035. Maybe it takes till 2040. That's just another way that you can kind of look at this. But again, guys, this is a fairly, I mean, I think ARC, has some numbers that they are basing this off of. So I wouldn't completely discount this fully, but as always, I just want to be, I want to be the conservative voice on all of these numbers. So I'm going to run down all of these. So let's drop it in half again. Let's say that we only have a million dollar Bitcoin by 2030. How much is it going to take to live a retirement life on $80,000? You're going to need 0.32 Bitcoin, and that today is worth $22,400. Okay, so let's drop it in half again. What's it going to take if, if by 2030 it only hits 500000 Well, it's obviously going to double, and you're going to need 0.64 Bitcoin, which is worth 44800 Okay, so let's jump over to this $100,000 a year um, class of retirement people. Um, how much is it going to take right now if Bitcoin hits $3.8 million in 2030 to live off of $100,000? you are going to need 0.11 Bitcoin, which is $7,700. Now, if it only hits $2 million, you are going to need 0.2 Bitcoin, which is $14,000 worth of Bitcoin today to retire in 2030 at a $2 million Bitcoin. What is it going to take if it only hits 1 million by, by 2030? Well, you're going to need 0.4 Bitcoin or 28,000. And then finally, again, uh, if if it only goes to five hundred thousand, and you want to live that one hundred thousand dollar lifestyle, you're going to need 0 0.8 Bitcoin today, which is fifty six thousand dollars. So you know, depending on your situation, um, you may see that some of these are a little more practical than others. It really just comes down to what you think, uh, if this is credible or not, if this is a credible um, prediction by ARK Invest or not. Now let's get into the Fat Cat Retirement Club. Uh, on the 3.8 million Bitcoin, you're going to need 0.26 Bitcoin today worth, worth 18,200 to live that fat life. If it only goes to 2 million, you're going to need 0.5 Bitcoin. If it only goes to 1 million, you're going to need a full Bitcoin worth $70,000 today. And if it only goes to half of that, you are going to need to have double, which is 2 Bitcoin worth $140,000. So again, it kind of depends on if you think by 2020 or 2030, it's going to hit these numbers or if it might take a little bit longer. Either way, what you can see here is all of these numbers. This is the hope that Bitcoin provides the future. Because I think all of these numbers right here as it stands today is a heck of a lot better than what traditional finance can do for your retirement. I mean, this, this traditional finance method of retirement, in my opinion, is hopeless. It's hopeless for people. You come down here, uh, you come down here to the Bitcoin, you know, 
theoretical bit Bitcoin um, retirement stuff, and suddenly you you finally have something that you can kind of work towards. So you finally have a goal that you feel is uh, obtainable. And I really do think that these numbers are um, possible. You know, I, I, I'm trying to be as conservative as possible and not try and fill you full of a bunch of hopium um, that just is unfounded. Um, that's why I've included all of these lower brackets because I don't want to like overhype something to you guys, but I do really think that all of these, these scenarios are theoretically possible. And this is why I say Bitcoin is hope. It, it gives people hope for the future once again. And, you know, going back up um you know to to this instance where we're we're doing 170 thousand or 170% per year i say that that's unattainable and and honestly it kind of is like we we will not continue to see bitcoin do these kind of returns once it's fully adopted by the masses if everybody and their dog owns bitcoin and there's nobody, I mean, if we're on the Bitcoin standard and Bitcoin is the new reserve currency, Bitcoin won't be making the gains that it used to. I mean, it's just, it's just not. It's going to be more stable. It's going to be a lot more like the dollar without the inflation, without the manipulation of the, the fiat system. So, um... I guess the hope is that you are getting into this early enough. And I really do think we are early still. This isn't, we aren't at mass adoption yet. So you do have this, um, this chance guys to get into something that is actually going to give you that hope for the future. Um, we are with the ETFs and, and Bitcoin going starting to go mainstream, we probably will be heading into that mass adoption, you know, a lot less volatility in the future. And it'll just kind of continually go that way. But right now, I still think there's a lot of opportunity there. And if you look at those numbers and they're still just crazy insane, I mean, you either, to get to those retirement numbers, you're either going to have to go further out on the risk curve. You're going to have to get into some altcoins. You're going to have to do, you know, Solana and Ethereum and these other altcoins are, are a lot more risky, but they do outperform Bitcoin in the short term. In the short term, in this cycle, we will see Solana and Ethereum and Dogecoin probably, and XRP, and Cardano, and all the altcoins that are worth anything will probably outdo Bitcoin in the short term. Once we hit that high and start coming down, altcoins bleed out a lot more than Bitcoin, which says a lot, because Bitcoin traditionally during the bear market goes down 70 to 80% and altcoins do worse than that. So, and I've done altcoins through bear, bear uh, markets before guys. That is not fun. I, I did it this last time. I stayed in just a few altcoins through the bear, bear season. I continued to run an Ethereum node through the bear system, which I was earning more and more Ethereum all the time. But even with that yield on top of my Ethereum, it still didn't keep up with Bitcoin. It didn't do as bad as it did during the 2018 bear market, but it still didn't do as good as Bitcoin. It was close. It wasn't, like I said, it wasn't as bad this time, but it was uh, 
you know, it would have been better just to be fully into Bitcoin. And so that's why I always say, if you want to invest long term and not worry about it, Bitcoin is your baby. Bitcoin's the one you want to be in. These altcoins are going to take a little more effort if you're going to want to do it right. You know, you're going to have to learn to trade the cycle. You won't just be able to throw your money in. I wouldn't throw my money into Solana and leave it for 10 years and not and just be like, oh, it'll be fine. I'm going to leave it in there for 10 years. It'll be fine. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that with any altcoin. Um, and I, you know, Solana may be around for a long, long time. They have, they definitely have some great projects on Solana, which I am going to continue to use through the, through the bear market. Like my, my phone service, uh, Helium Mobile is based on Solana. And obviously I'm going to keep my phone through the bear market. So Solana has kind of set itself up to be a staying force, I think, but it's still something that I wouldn't try to keep invested into long term. So if you're going to go down that risk curve to try and make up for for something that maybe you can't attain in Bitcoin alone, and every everybody's situation is going to be different, guys. But if you're going to do that, you're going to have to keep your your finger on the pulse of what's going on in crypto. And you're really going to have to to try and time the markets and get out somewhere, you know, even if you hit 20 percent within the top of, of the market, you're you're probably going to be more than fine. Um, but that is going to take some some time you're going to have to put in the work to to really learn about what's going on my channel i will try and bring you that kind of information so make sure you subscribe to my channel uh but <laughs> but it's going to take more it's going to take more than just putting your entire retirement into bitcoin and forgetting about it until 2030 or 20, 2035 whatever it may be so anyways guys that's the video for today. Uh, please, again, make sure you go over to um, Olive Branch Animal Sanctuary. Throw them a few dollars. If you found any of this helpful or hopeful, <laughs> just go over and throw them a dollar or two. Honestly, does uh, it really means a lot to me if you guys do that. So anyways, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye.